Hey everyone, we are looking at storage today. We're looking at primary storage, secondary storage, and online storage, also called cloud storage. So let's get started and have a look at our first kind of storage. Our first kind of storage is, is primary storage, okay? Or primary memory. Primary means number one, like the first thing, okay? So primary storage is also known as random access memory. It's the first type of memory that gets accessed when we switch on our computer, when everything gets put into RAM, okay? We also call it RAM, just by the way, that's what that button says. And it is temporary. Don't forget that RAM is temporary. So everything that's taking place on your computer sits in RAM. We're busy working on our documents and our files and video editing and music and all that stuff. It's happening in RAM. What do we do when we're done? We save it. We save it to the hard drive because the hard drive is permanent. RAM is temporary. If we get hit with a lightning bolt, well, not you personally, I mean your computer system, and the computer is blasted and fried, everything in RAM is gone. Okay, that was a bit extreme. If you shut down your computer without saving or there's a power failure and the computer shuts down instantly, then whatever was in RAM is cleared automatically. Okay, that's why it's temporary. It's not permanent. And it's also electronic storage. Okay, there are no moving parts in RAM. Okay, so have a look and get a stick of RAM. I'll, there's some in my classroom if you are in my class. If not, find one somewhere and have a look. Okay. Secondary memory. Secondary memory, so we've looked at RAM, which is primary. Now we're going to secondary memory. Secondary memory is our HDD, our hard disk drive. Okay, That's the actual disk that we save things onto. That's permanent because you can shut down your computer, you can switch your computer back on, and it's still there. Yay, you didn't lose that file after all because you saved it. And it's magnetic storage. In terms of this drive, that's magnetic storage, okay? Because it's got a spinning disk and it uses like a special needle. I mean, you've seen this in other hardware videos that I've done before. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is our solid state drive, also called SSD. Solid state, like as in something's frozen, like solid state. In other words, nothing's moving, okay? Nothing moves. This is also electronic. It's permanent. It is just, this is where everything is going. Okay, we're moving away from magnetic hard drives. We're moving towards solid state drives as they become more and more affordable. Let's compare these types of storage, shall we? We've got RAM, we've got HDD, hard disk drive, SSD, solid state drive, random access memory. Let's have a look. So we have primary, secondary, secondary. That's our first comparison. RAM, HDD, and SSD. RAM is temporary, our, se our secondary drive, which is our hard disk drive, permanent storage, our secondary drive, or which is our SSD drive, if we have that, is also permanent storage. Do you see the pattern happening here, guys? Uh, RAM is electronic, our hard disk drives are magnetic, our secondary drives, sorry, <laughs> our solid state drives are electronic as well. Electronic seems to be the way to go, hey guys. Right, so RAM is actually quite expensive if you compare it to your hard disk drives, okay? Hard disk drives are very, are much more affordable, very affordable actually. I mean, you can get a one terabyte drive and it's actually affordable today. RAM is still very, very expensive because it is, it does so much more and it's very important because it affects the functioning of your computer. At the moment, at the time of doing this video, uh, SSDs are very expensive. Mucho money, huh? Why was I doing that? I don't know. Mucho money. So yes, RAM is expensive. Hard disk drives, quite affordable. Solid state drives are affordable in very small capacities, okay? Like 500, 512 gigabytes of SSD. But as you get higher up, it gets more expensive. Let's look at cloud storage now. So we've looked at the physical stuff, all right? We've looked at RAM, hard disk drives, and solid state drives. Those are all physical things. Now, cloud storage at the moment is very much like a concept to a lot of people because they don't really know what cloud storage actually is all about. So I'm going to try explain it to you. Here we have the world. There is the world above us, okay? And we have all these people on their computers. There are all the computers located all around the world, okay? And here we have various cloud storage providers. Let's see who we got. We have a Dropbox over there. We have uh, OneDrive to the right of it. We have have on the left of that we have iCloud underneath iCloud to the left we have mega that's in New Zealand by the way then we have box.com the bottom right inside we have Google Drive you should recognize that icon and right in the middle one that I found the other day called iDrive 
Never tried it, but I found them the other day. So we take our files and using software that's running on our computers, we can then upload or copy our files using these applications. These applications then connect to servers and hard drives located on servers all around the world. So we don't actually know where our data is going. Like it's on a server somewhere in the world so when you upload your stuff to OneDrive or you save your stuff in OneDrive it is like somewhere in the World Wide Web somewhere okay <laughs> so let's have a look uh, in terms of the advantages and the disadvantages of cloud storage let's look at the advantages of cloud storage first of all if you are transferring files from your computer to an online storage solution you're saving space on your local machine so you don't have to actually have those files on your machine you can have them hosted online and access and work with them online through cloud computing or online applications which is pretty cool it also means because your stuff's in the cloud it's on a server connected to the internet you can access your data from anywhere anywhere in the world anytime at any anywhere you want simply because you have an internet connection and a device that's connected okay that's pretty cool you also have a secure online backup because you're not relying on your own security on your local device and if your device is stolen and your data was there your data's gone so the stuff is online and is secure it's always online that's pretty cool now some of the disadvantages there are disadvantages Let's have a look. First of all, you have to be online. You need internet access to get to your stuff, all right? Total security is not always guaranteed, okay? If the server goes down or the server gets hacked or there's a virus or something happens to that server where your data is located, it's gone, I'm sorry. Also, if the server crashes and you're not able to access the server, like if the server is no longer accessible, you can't access your work either and you're stuck. And so you can see that there are some advantages and some disadvantages to cloud storage. Thank you guys, that was a lesson on storage, primary storage, secondary storage, and online cloud storage, including the advantages and disadvantages of cloud storage.